Hello and welcome to how to use the Trade Informed Advanced Backtest Model Quick Guide. When you open the Advanced Backtest Model you will see a screen that looks something like this. Now this is the results page and over here on the left you have inputs that can affect the trading strategy. You can adjust the amount of capital that is modelled at the start of the test period. You can include a cost of trading. A simple way to do this would be to assume that you have a cost of about 0.1% per trade or whatever is appropriate for the market that you're trading. You could also include this as a fixed dollar cost of trading. And again, this would depend on the market that you are trading. Now the profit target and stop loss can be adjusted here. Now if you wanted to, you could reverse these and see what effect it has on the trading strategy. The trailing stop does exactly that. It trails behind the price and as the trade moves in, in favour of the trade, the trailing stop will be moved behind it. The leverage factor allows you to simulate increasing the amount of leverage on the trade. So as it stands, it is at a 1 to 1 ratio. You can increase this to 2 to 1, 3 to 1, and you can see how it adjusts the strategy results. The reward and risk are there for information. This demonstrates that if the profit target is hit, the capital will increase by 10%. If the stop loss is hit, the capital will decrease by 3%. Now these are the specific information for this strategy. We're using a Marabozu candle and if you adjust this value you can see that the number of trades increases and decreases. A lot of traders prefer to trade long only. You can easily do that by selecting this on and off. You have an optional extra close here and this is using a Bollinger Band close. Once again you can toggle this on and off. The results over here on the right, this is the results of the trading strategy and this is the results of the underlying market. As you can see you can compare the compound annual growth rate between the strategy and the market underneath. Also you can compare the drawdown. Down below there is long trades and short trades. Next thing you might want to do is compare different scenarios. Every time you make an adjustment to the input, the results change. So you might want to use this. You click the button here and see this scenario is now recorded here. And we've used profit target of 10, stop loss of 3. We can make an adjustment, put this to five and copy that. And you can see how it affects profitability, profit factor. Okay, so the next page to be aware of is the back test page. Now this is where all the calculations take place. It may look complicated to start with, but there are a number of things that are quite easy to change on here. First of these, starting over on the left, is the underlying market. Now this is the historical data that is being used for the backtest, and it is quite easy to change this. I'm going to demonstrate this by getting some new data here. Scrolling to the top of this and you can see it's in the same order. It must be entered in the same order as is shown on the original spreadsheet, which is date, open, high, low, close. If you have volume, it will be here. And all I need to do is highlight all of this data. Copy this. And then enter it at the top 
left hand corner here and I can enter this as a value and you can see it just simply changes all the data here. And the only thing you need to do now is make sure the formulas go down as far as the data. It's very easy to do. We just get to the where the formulas stop, highlight the bottom row, the final row of formulas, double click here. You can see it's copied all the formulas down to the cells below. If I go right to the bottom now, you can see all the formulas there. The other scenario you might have is when you have less historical data than formulas. What you need to do is just to delete this final row and then just simply highlight all of these, delete, and you just get rid of all the excess formulas. So that's how to change the historical data. If I go back to the results, you can see it has changed the results. Now, if I go right to the top here, I might want to check, make a change to the strategy and maybe I want to include a new technical indicator. Well, I can do this. Now, the first thing you need to do is to have the actual technical indicator. And if you have the Trade Inform 21 Technical Indicators, you can copy the indicators from here. Now, I personally, I like the stochastic, so I am going to put that into our new, into our backtest model. And I can see here that I need columns G to K. So I'm just going to empty out columns G to K. Now I've not deleted anything, I've just inserted new columns. And now what I can do is make a note of the top cell, which is G3. Copy a selection here, because we don't need it all. And then this time, copy. Move those to the top get rid of any excess formatting that we don't want and then I can just copy these down and now I have the stochastic oscillator now that you have got the technical indicator the stochastic oscillator into the model the next thing you might want to do is use it as part of the trading strategy so we can change the entry conditions to use the stochastic. Now, the, what we would need to do then is to do this, is to find the trade long column here and come down to the first cell that has formulas in it. And you can see these are the existing entry conditions. And what this is saying is when the closing price is lower than the linear regression line, standard deviation center line, and we have a Marabozu candle, and there is not already a long trade running, then we can enter long. And we're going to adjust this. We're going to click in this cell here. Now this is the first one. I'm going to click up here. I'm going to adjust this to add a new condition. So we put in a comma, and we're going to use the percent %k slow line of the stochastic. And so we use the cell in this row here. And we're going to say when this value is lower than 50. Now I'm going to use the 50 as a fixed reference cell here. And the way I do that is to click in this cell and then press F4. And F4, you can see it puts dollar signs around this cell, which means that when I press Enter, And I double click to copy the new formula down, the new entry conditions down, that we can keep referencing this cell. Now the useful thing about this is I can take this, I can move it here. I'm going to put it in here, cut and paste. I move it using cut and paste. If we want to just copy the data, and we want it to stay referencing the same cells, we use copy. 
we want to move a fixed reference cell like this, we use cut and paste. I'm going to call it the stochastic filter. And you can see that when I change this value, the results update. And you can see that we can increase the profitability and change the profit factor of our trading strategy. The next thing you might want to do with this model is to look at the individual trades. Now, any trading strategy is only as good as the actual trades. So we might want to have a look at them, see what's happening. There are two ways to do this. First way is to go into the backtest and literally to track each trade. We can see here that on this row here, we entered a long trade. November the 20th here, you can see we entered at this price and these were the conditions here. We can track how all the indicators performed on this entry day. If I go to the trade, I can scroll down. We can see how the trade performed over time. We can see this yellow indicator until this particular trade hit the stop loss on this row here. So we can see it hit it on the March the 12th. We can see what the loss was in terms of the capital and we can see our exit price here. Now there is another way to view each trade and this is to go on the trade list tab. And we can look at exactly the same data but in a slightly condensed format. We see the entry date, the price and the exit date. We also have some other information. Here we have the profit and loss in terms of points. And again, the profit and loss, and this time in terms of a percentage. If you want to look at multiple trades, it is much easier to look at them in this format. If you wanted to have a look at all the trades in 2008, for example, you could highlight these five trades here and just have a look see what percentage of them were profitable and which percentage were losing trades. Equally, we can have a look at the most important and the most recent ones. 2018, we can see that we had a very big winning trade here and a small losing trade much later in the year. If you want more information about how to use a trade informed backtest model, there is a link on the screen at the moment and below this video. If you have any specific questions, please email support at tradeinform.com or go to tradeinform.com forward slash contact. And if you want to see more videos about how to use backtest models, how to backtest your own trading strategies, please subscribe to this channel or go to tradeinformed.com.